O la gente después de ello. Can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Bueno, eh, os explico, después de tanto tiempo tuve problemas con este Walking Dead técnicos un poco graves, ¿no? Problemas con la traducción y tal, y dije, bueno, pues para traerlo en inglés, pues que no, no prefiero traerlo en español. Y entonces, eh, pues eso, que vuelvo ya con el juego, ya lo, ya lo he vuelto a instalar, ¿no? para meter bien la traducción y ya va bien sé que hay una edición que viene con todo pero como lo está subiendo en la época con la edición normal pues lo que pasa la traducción es de Star Nova Star Nova ya que estoy lo menciono por si alguien tiene el juego original en inglés en los capítulos sueltos pues Star Nova tiene todas las traducciones ¿no? Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? It was a good show, but, you know... Just... take him, okay? Take Crane! Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Bueno, aquí lo habíamos dejado, ¿no? With the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Aquí lo habíamos dejado. Todo bien. Ahí hice la locura de matar a una persona porque sí. Normalmente no lo haría en el juego, así que me va a ser peor. Que voy a hacer algo. Hardcoreta. Pues igual cuando suba este y el de Walking Dead episodio es por subo uno, que lo había jugado antes. A ver. ¿no? Wow. Qué pesadilla. Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Maybe. <sighs> We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. What... What happened to me? There was... You got lucky. And found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. Me. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Can you do that? Oh. Oh. Wow. Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax.
Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerves severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Number four, you are. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. With what? Your hooves? Hey, listen, Please, lady. Please, keep it down back there. Thank you. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, he'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercation. Tendré que ir con cuidado. <laughs> Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. Ala, emborrachándose. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. You had us... <coughs> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out, or... or... died, I guess. It... um... It kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... He's never worried. And even he thought you were... I don't know. It was just... awful. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder it. Yeah, about that. Giving up Crane to save my skin really made us look weak. That made us look weak? Oh, but not Mary shooting you and holding an axe to your big head. Look, I'm not saying it was a good day. Just that we could have done without all the uh, bargaining at the end. The crooked man's gonna think- I don't care what he thinks. It was the only option. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. 
But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? This is about those girls. And it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters, to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, huh? I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but... I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He shouldn't. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break! Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Bueno. Yo me da pena el cerdito y la rana que se vayan. Nerissa. 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 Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye aye, Captain. Vamos a ver. He's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I'm just talking about it. Breaking the law, no? Como la canción de Judas Priest, no? No sé si la conocéis. Breaking the law. No sé si tengo un inglés que se entienda algo. Que levanta la ley, podemos decir que es en español, le creo el nombre, rompe las reglas, como tú veas, creo que es ley más que reglas. Y bueno, vamos a ver qué sucede por aquí. 
Eso podemos decir que era un poco la introducción, ¿no? Eh, pues bueno, la verdad, este, no sé, ya sabes, ya os digo, no siento mucho los problemas técnicos que he llegado a tener y que voy a esperar a que saquen todos los episodios y hablo, ¿eh? ¿vale? La comunidad de Taringa. <risa> Ahí sale, ¿no? La traducción que encontré, que está bien. Porque tengo los problemas con la traducción, no se me iba y... Es que yo no sé, jugando el juego en inglés y después de subir dos episodios, tres episodios en español, pues... Mmm, ¿Qué juego se puede jugar igual en inglés? Pues, pues si sí se puede, ¿no? Pero me enteraría de la mitad. La verdad, yo... Eh, esas son cosas que pasan, ¿no? Episodio 4 ya, este y otro quedan, ¿eh? Disfrazado de cordero. A ver qué tal, qué sucede. Pero... En estos vídeos no hablo mucho, pero es para que se les oiga hablar, ¿no? Estas más de conversaciones entre ellos. Entonces yo no suelo hablar mucho en estos vídeos, como sabéis. Los dos primeros son con una cabeza de mierda, porque eran en directo. Pero decidí hacerlo así, para que se esté mejor. Ahí está. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time But I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Is this making any sense? Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Are you telling me my friends are involved? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know. I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Huh? Do you like it? Hm? Huh? Do you? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it?
You mind if I just... No! These flips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons... If you take them off... I don't know how, but I'm going to fix this. If you could just point me in the right direction, I swear I will fix this. If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Don't worry. I handled it. She couldn't talk because of the magic, but we managed to understand each other. I did my job. My way. What did you expect? Do you really want to know? Because you have given me reason to doubt you. Surely even you can see that. And the past few days have been... <sighs> trying. You have to trust me, Snow. And I'm pretty sure she left convinced we're on the right track. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're... scared about what's been going on? Even if there isn't much to it, it's still our best lead. It's worth looking into. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Bueno, y vamos a la calle, ¿no? ¡Hala! De un rato a otro ya estamos en un apartamento, esto es... You're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No. That was... Forget it. What do you want, Big B? Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. 
Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. Vamos a investigar por aquí. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Vamos a ver. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went. Nada de interés. Parece que no se encuentra nada de interés. No hay nada secreto. Vamos a ver la pintura. Talk about living in the past. It was one little thing. Un jarrón. No, 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 no. Cuidado. Vamos a ver, hay cosas que van a apuntar por aquí. Son muy... Muy tos. Se mueve la cámara de forma extraña. Mira cómo vibra. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Algo tiene que hacer. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Sí, claro. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain... assurances. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the Crooked Man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own... No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Hi there, you've reached Beauty and Beast, and we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just uh, a day at the beach, skiing the slopes, <laughs> and we can't come to the phone hey, right now, so leave a message yet. at the beach, and we'll should... get back to you as soon as <laughs> humanly possible. you get yourselves into the crooked man's gonna get his one way or another all I care about is how can I find the crooked man who do I talk to where do I go the lucky pawn that's where I borrowed the money the Crooked Man's behind that place. 
I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. So you do their dirty work, and look the other way. Work is work. All I do is deliver stuff. I just wanted to provide for Beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Hmm. Carnicero, el, el empeño suertudo de la carnicería. Vamos a ir a la carnicería porque tiene una pinta de. You know that shop, the de, cut above. de haber algo turbio. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Mm. Well, I guess I'll find out. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Oh, confían en mí. Vaya por Dios. Ay. <risa> bueno, corte de carnicería, calle tumba a la tarde.
En espacios, la ley anti tabaco en espacios cerrados. <risa> ya hay un prohibido fumar un café. Ah, vamos a dejar de fumar, es malo para la salud. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, bebidas frías. Está todo vacío. Sandwich, etiqueta. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Casco de carne. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Lo que es decir, hola, hay buena, hay buena comida. Welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs, Johan. I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. Another person. Uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Oh, Don't puta. go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Talk about that. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. No está dando una alarma, eh. Propósitos de seguridad. Me da miedo. Creo que hay una trampa. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> It's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, 
took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there... Ich bin in der Flak und das bin ich nicht da oben. Da war ich hier, aber ich kann es nicht suchen. Black Forest. Creo que cosas de gente aquí. Para. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to! You come in here making trouble for me? But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something... I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying. Más muestras de eso. This is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Vamos a ver. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Vamos a ver las pócimas, laboratorio de química. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Oh, sorry. <sighs> that symbol. It's on all the packages. Mm, is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. Mira, es it's not everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Uh, huh. Looks like... math or something. Maybe just don't touch anything back here. Oh, my God. Numbers. Shit. Is everybody on here? You know anything about this? I, I, I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables. Getting magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The gear. And slave labor to work it. So these must be the raw materials. No wonder he needs so much. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. 
It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains. He's... he's enslaving fables. On my watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. And that fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they find it. <laughs> the Lucky Pawn. Oh, yes. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. And if I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my hand. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Bueno. Somos buena gente, ¿no? Le damos protección. No sé si es bueno o malo, pero bueno. Bueno, vamos a seguir hacia adelante. Vale, vamos aquí al suertudo este, ¿no? Al... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... My fucking Jack, system. what the fuck is going on? But you I'm uh, the guy who just gonna... Sure I'm the guy that keeps uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? <clears throat> I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my... So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey. What's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. Oh, yeah. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna. Ow! You fucking mother! Oh, motherfucker! Oh. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. No quiero luchar. No, no tengo que esquivarlo.
Vale, no. No, oh. No puede dar. Vamos, vamos. Te protejo, cabrón. Hey, I found her. Eso era algo importante. Nah. The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Vamos a ver los bolsillos. Mira, menos mal que no cogieron la principio. Travelers checks, huh? Eh, al principio de la partida que cogía al gemelo y al leñador igual si no me ayudaba. Sick piece of. Creo que eso ha sido un punta. The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Le tendría que dar más a la salida. Me ha caído bien. Having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Oh, man. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. 
can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah? You gonna be all right? You know me. Bueno, parece que todo se ha ido bien, ¿no? Creo que elegí correctamente los, los lugares a los que ir, creo, ¿no? Al menos. He conseguido el espejo, que era lo que necesitaba, creo. ¿No? Con el espejo puedes encontrar a tu dios. Así que igual. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, Sheriff I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. A crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the Lone. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. But that's over now. Because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. And that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Oh, yeah, yeah. What inconvenient. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Pompous ass. Paso de él, ¿sabes? I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. And a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pawn. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Bye. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fable Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? Now budge on that bloody glamour. I only came in to see if... Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. 
I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Oh, mierda, no otra cosa, se cojo de ni el otro tío. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Se se cojo de ni el otro tío. What do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Look, I don't write the checks around here, but I know I had a hand in it, so I'll try to get Snow to take care of you. Please do. It's the only way I'll be able to get me glamours. Yeah, all right. But, uh, this isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah. You thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. That's a slippery slope, that is. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Uh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. Look. I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get you sorted and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. Qué majo. Quiero que feliz la no una gracia. Como sirva. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry, I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine, we'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. The magic he peddles. Chains. Ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. just happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat. 
and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. Well, I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Bueno. Creo que queda poco ya, ¿eh? no sé, es una corazonada. En este capítulo me muevo muy poco, a menos de momento. Vale, estoy yendo, debe quedar poco, creo. Estamos completando un día entero. Así que, no quedará mucho. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Esto va miedito. Vamos a escuchar. That's it, all right. Está bien, vale. Wow. Hay que entrar, me cago en todo. Vamos. Mira, mira, turrón. Hombre torcido. No será este, ¿no? Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. Pequeño Nicolás. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you weren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up. You knew I was coming. That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so... If you'll come this way... Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't need you to hold my hand. No sé si he hecho bien o mal, si fiarme de él o no, ¿sabes? I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard or an escort for that matter. I get it. You have a job to do. But you got to ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some Broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? 
don't laugh at me. Go ahead. Yeah. You got a job to do. I ain't scared. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Esto va a ser un poco difícil. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Vaya, 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 vaya familia que tenemos ahí. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Parece el padrino, tío. Esto es complicado, muy complicado. Gente que me sheriff. We have a great deal to discuss. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. En el momento dije nada de fumar, eh. Ah, vale. Ya me había asustado. Creo que aquí termina el episodio. Eh, ahora sí, y me dejo con una intriga brutal, ¿no? Sí. Pues nada, esto... Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh well. Peligros. Peligros. Vale, el 35% envía colina a la granja. 36% intenta quitar el lazo, no sé qué. 63% investiga primero. Eh, eh, vale, el 3% envía joder, que mala gente. Responde. Aquí dejamos este vídeo hasta otra, ¿no? Adiós. Mira. Bueno, pues hasta el próximo episodio de The Wolf Among Us o lo que sea, ¿no? Otro vídeo de Starbound. La veré.